This is a synthetic cadaver. Engineering has pushed itself to the limits here. You see, all the parts are extremely lifelike, and this has so many benefits to our usual donor cadavers. Of course, they're not limited by supply, and there's not really a risk of it being abused by medical students. Like when I was training in my university, one of the cadavers unfortunately had its head cut off and someone had taken it outside the building, and then they had to get the police to actually find the medical students who took it, and thankfully they did, and threw them off the course. There are also issues with respect, like naming the cadavers when they already have a name. And it's incredibly sad to see things like that because the person has donated their body to medical research. So obviously we won't have this issue with this and we'll still get the benefits of learning anatomy in a lifelike way. All of these, of course, come at a cost though. The intricate engineering on this model will set you back around 40, 